Hi friends, I miss you guys so much. I hope you're doing well and staying healthy and spending a lot of time with your family and even some time outdoors. I know I've been spending a lot of time outdoors, going for walks and going for runs. And I also hope you had a wonderful Easter with your family. I got to spend Easter with my mom and we also gained a new furry friend whose name is Marley. This is a picture of me and Marley. She's eight years old. She's a really, really sweet girl. And all she wants to do is go for walks. And she really, really wanted to come upstairs with me, but she can't make it up the stairs. So that's why we're going for many, many walks. We need to help her lose some weight. So today, we're gonna start by looking at these two sentences. The first one says, they can't go nowhere. And the second one says, they can't go anywhere. One of these sentences is grammatically correct and the other is not. So I want you to think to yourself, which one makes more sense? And then when you have your answer, you can resume the video. Who thinks they know the answer? Well, if you think it's the second one, you are correct. But, so let's focus on the second one first. They can't go anywhere. We notice the word can't, and can't is up here in our chart as a negative word. So today, anytime we have a negative word, we want to put it in red and underline it. Let's keep reading the sentence. Go anywhere. Anywhere is also up on our chart. But this time, it's a positive word. So when we have a positive word, we're going to put a blue we're gonna make a blue plus sign. So this sentence has a negative word and a positive word, and that's grammatically correct. So, but now let's look at the first one and learn why it's not grammatically correct. They can't go nowhere. We have the word can't again, and the can't is on the negative side of the chart. So when we have a negative word, we underline it and put it in red. And if we keep reading, go nowhere. Nowhere is also another negative word. So we're gonna underline and put it in red. So we notice in this sentence, we have two negative words in our sentence. And that's not grammatically correct because it's changing the intended meaning of the sentence. And when you have two negative words, so you have can't and nowhere, it makes a positive word, anywhere. So today we're gonna learn when we have two negative words in a sentence, it becomes a positive. So now we're gonna practice with these two sentences. And remember, we can always use our chart to dis distinguish whether it's a negative or it's a positive word. So let's do this first one. He didn't do anything. We notice we see the word didn't, and didn't is a negative word. So remember, I'm gonna put it in red. and I'm going to underline it. And if we keep reading, he didn't do anything. We see the word anything. Anything is a positive word. So when we have a positive word, remember we're gonna put it in blue and put a plus sign. So this sentence has a positive, has a negative and a positive. Therefore, this sentence is grammatically correct. Let's see what our second sentence is. Don't go 
nowhere. So we see that don't is a, no, is a negative word. So when we have a negative word, we put it in red and underline it. And if we keep reading, go, nowhere, nowhere is also a negative word. So we underline it and put it in red. And we have two negative words in our sentence. So it's changing the meaning of the sentence. So therefore, we want to change it into a negative and a positive. So if we would change don't go nowhere, we would change it into don't go anywhere. And we still have one negative word, so we're going to underline it. And we're going to put it in red. Go anywhere. Anywhere is a positive word. So now we have a positive word. And remember, with positive words, we put a plus sign in blue. So now our sentence is grammatically correct because we changed it from having two negatives, don't and nowhere, into having don't and anywhere because those two negative words make a positive word. Now we're gonna practice together. So I want you, we're gonna read these sentences. She didn't do anything at all. She didn't do anything all day. He never likes to do nothing. I want you to think to yourself, which words in each sentences are negative and which ones are positive. And if we have two negative words, we're gonna have to change the sentence. So I want you to think about these two sentences and when you think you know the answers, I want you to resume the video. Okay, now we're gonna see if we got the right answers. But if we didn't, it's okay. We're always learning. We can't be perfect. I'm still learning too. And if you did know all these answers, then I wouldn't need to be teaching you. So let's start on the first one. She didn't do anything all day. So we see the word didn't, and I think didn't's in our chart. Oh, it is, it's right there. It's a negative word. So I hope you thought to yourself that it should be in red and underlined. Do anything all day. Anything is another word in our chart, but this time it's over here. So we want to put a blue plus sign. All day. So now our sentence is grammatically correct. That one is grammatically correct because we have a negative and a positive. Now let's try the second one. He never likes to do nothing. We see the word never, and never is a negative word. So we're going to put that in red and underline it. Likes to do nothing. Nothing's also a negative word. So this sentence has two negative, two negative words. And remember, when we have two negative words, we need to rewrite it to have a negative and a positive word. So we would want to rewrite this into he never likes to do anything. So now we still have our never, our negative word, so we're gonna underline it and put it in red. Likes to do anything, but now we have a positive word. So remember with positive words, we put a blue plus sign. So now we have 
a negative word in our sentence and a positive word. So now it's grammatically correct because our the never and nothing, those two negative words form the positive word anything. Now we're gonna practice on our own. So I want you to go to the link that I provided for you. And when you get to the link, you notice on the top, it has directions. So I'm gonna read those with you. I want you to read each sentence carefully and put the correct markings under the word in each sentence with two different colors. If the word is positive, put a plus sign right under the word. And if the word is negative, place a line under the word. Then remember, when we have two negative words in a sentence, we must reword so we have one negative and a positive. Two negative words equal a positive. If the sentence is correct, I still want you to put your markings and give it a star. So if the sentence has a negative and then a positive, I want you to star it right by the number. I, uh, and then here's our negative and positive chart to help us out. And here are your five sentences that I want you to do. I did the first one for you. You can't see nobody in this crowd. We see the word can't, and that's a negative word. And we also see the word nobody, and that's also a negative word. So we have two negative words. So we need a, two negatives make a positive, so we need to change it into a negative and a positive. So I changed it into, you can't see anyone in this crowd. So now that sentence would be correct because you have a negative and a positive. So what I want you to do is I want you to type the sentences next to your name. So if you are Karina, I want you to type the sentences by your name and make the markings. So if it's a negative word, I want you to make it red and underline it. And if it's a positive word, I want you to put a plus sign. And when there's two negative words, I want you to reword the sentence. I know that's a lot of directions and I may forget too if I'm working, but it's a buff for you to help you out and help you remember. And when you're done, I want you to pause the video Pause the video and we will continue. Hi friends, thank you for working so hard. So today we talked about two negative words in a sentence making a positive. I, I am so proud of how hard you are working and I can't wait to see your work. And also I'm want you to do one more thing. I want you to send me an email of a sentence that has a negative word and a positive word. It can be about anything. And also on that email, I want you to send me something that you've been doing to keep you busy through all this, all this time of being with your family and what you've been doing. And also, I want you to remember to always stay positive and we will see the end of the tunnel soon, I promise. And until then, I miss you guys and I can't wait to see you again soon.